Indian and Breaking Emuno. I'm compelled to address you today by the growing tension across the country, ignited by recent efforts by Nigerian youths to ask for a better Nigeria. The events of the past few days remind me of the words of Franz Fanon, the influential political philosopher who observed that each generation must discover its mission, fulfill it, or betray it in relative opacity. This generation of Nigerian youth has discovered its mission, but the question everyone is asking is, will they betray or fulfill it? Great Anambra youth, I am immensely proud of what you have achieved so far, but we must not succumb to the morbid attractions of violence. No matter the provocation, no matter how justified our anger, and no matter how easy it all might seem, violence does not yield fruits, fruitful results. The founder of the modern Indian, Mahatma Gandhi, warns that, I quote, when violence appears to be good, to do good, the good is only temporary, but the evil it does is permanent, unquote. Omunem, while our beloved state remains slightly safe and isolated from the boiling sea outside, we have also recorded uh, a few unpleasant incidents in our domain, and there is uh, justifiable anger in the land but we cannot give it a chance to consume us all. Consequently, we are taking precautionary steps to prevent further descent to lawlessness in Anambra State by imposing a 24-hour curfew with effect from 8 p.m. today. We are imposing 24-hour curfew in Anambra State effective 8 p.m. today until we bring uh, this rising tension under control. Therefore, all schools and markets in Anambra State are hereby closed. All gatherings by groups and associations under any name or level from 8 p.m. are banned. The law enforcement agencies in the state have been duly directed to enforce compliance. However, all law enforcement officers charged with ensuring compliance to the restriction on movement must resist the temptation of applying excessive force while attempting to bring the situation under control. We cannot afford to repeat the same mistakes that created the problem we are trying to solve in the first place. Meanwhile, I wish to assure all non-indigents living in Anambra of their safety and security wherever, whatever their life and in the other states. The government of Anambra State will not allow you to come to any harm. In the Anambra, we may do well to recall that in the response to the nationwide demand by Nigerian youths for an end to the gross violation of human rights by the defunct SARS, my administration had taken proactive measure to enthrone justice and peace in our dear state. I have personally visited all the facilities used by the defunct SARS and freed all the prisoners in unlawful detention. I have set up a judicial panel of inquiry to listen to petitions from victims of human rights uh, violations and the defunct SARS. And more importantly, I am happy to announce that we have set aside the sum of 200 million naira to be disposed as compensation to people who have proven cases of rights, violations, torture and deaths from the activities of the front SARS, as may be recommended by the panel we just set up. This provision is part of the 2021 budget, which shall be presented to the State House of Assembly in a matter of days. In the Anambra, this effort is made essentially in pursuit of a better society. We know that no amount of money can equate a human life, but we believe that a symbolic gesture delivered at the right moment can heal old wounds and help aggrieved families to find closure 
in these most traumatic times. In the Anambra, the peace and security we have enjoyed in the Anambra State in the past seven years is under threat. All hands must be on deck to save Anambra from this danger. I urgently call on all religious leaders, traditional rulers, market leaders, community leaders, and leaders of various youth organizations in Anambra State to rise to the immediate challenge and speak to our youths and calm the boiling anger in the land. Whatever we destroy in a fit of anger was built by us, even if they were donated to the federal institutions within the state. We must do everything we can to avoid self-inflicted injuries. In the Anambra, the times we live in demand extraordinary sacrifice. We must respond to it with patience, forbearance, and love. This is not the time to un unrest of unrestrained emotions. This is not the time for destructive rumors and conspiracy theories. This is a time to reach out and touch one another with love, to treat each other with kindness, and to say to one another with one voice, Nigeria is greater than our personal problems. Umunem, we are the inheritors of a proud history. We carry the inventive genius of the great minds that created the famous Ibuku civilization. Our ancestors practiced pragmatic democracy before the Greeks stumbled upon it and their fine theories. We rose from the ashes of a brutal civil war to rebuild our lives with relative ease. In their number, our history is different. So we must act with a sense of history in the moments like this. We must not give in to regrettable anger and throw everything away. God bless Anambra State. God bless the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Thank you.